Well, it's Labor Weekend. In fact, it's Labor Weekend Monday. So what's that make it? About the third weekend in October. So just over my shoulder behind me is my uh, current peacock hunting block. And the weather this weekend's been terrible. Um, in fact, this is the first day out of the entire weekend when I could get out and have any chance of doing anything and remaining sort of dry. But we've got showers that are um, racing through, making things regularly wet. But we'll go and have a look and see how we go anyway. I don't know whether or not the audio on the camera picked that one up, but there's one over there asking for it. So um, we'll go and check him out. Um, perhaps the driest spot out and about are totra trees. Anyway, the possums like to kip in a dry spot as well. So we'll just turn the camera around and have a look at these two, having a snooze. They're probably woken up by now, but anyway, let's have a look at them. Just in this gap in here. There you go. You're not that far away from these peacocks. But between them and me, I've got a pond with some paradise ducks in it. And they've probably got chicks. Although I'm not sure. Anyway, they're a bit upset with me, so I'm going to have to try and do a little diversion to work my way around these guys. So I don't uh, unnecessarily upset everything in the countryside. Well, I'm just uh, trying to make a stealthy approach on this peacock. I'm working my way down through the set of totras. I need to cross the next little grass valley, and I don't particularly want to do it in the open. Anyway, I've just spooked a duck. Just spooked a, a mallard hen. And look what we have here. Oh, there's nine eggs in there. Anyway, we'll come away from here quietly so that the hen can come back to her nest. Definitely not fair weather hunting today. It's wet and miserable. That doesn't seem to bother the peacocks much. One thing I have noticed is I have noticed uh, some of these male peacocks calling from what I would consider nesting areas. I don't know whether or not that's what's happening or not. I don't really kind of know at the moment. He's saying to himself, something's wrong, but I don't quite know what. The hens are still out in the paddocks. But the cocks have changed their behaviour. They're displaying much more, they're calling much more, and for the first time he actually had a cock sit in the top of a tree and watch me approach. So that's a first. Anyway, I've just fired a shot. He's down over here. I'll turn the camera around so you can have a look. There he is. Beautiful big long tail. These are typical eye feathers. Just like that. Then you've got these blue and these green. Yeah, quite a cute feather. I quite like them. Some of them actually have uh, an eye in the end of them. They run down the side of his tail. 
you know what at the end of his tail I bet there's a fish tail shape with no eye Well, this is Labour Weekend Monday. The hens are out in the paddock still, so they haven't started nesting. You know, I'm in a tight little north facing gully here and I guess the lesson to be learned with this this bird is um, always follow up um, I fired the shot from up there and across right across this gully and into the into this little this little basin area here and he took off from here and uh, uh, flew what looked like a path down into the bush here and looked like he was flying normally and I thought I'd missed him clean. I always pays to follow these little devils up because um, he didn't make it. There he is here. Look at the spurs. Goodness gracious. I wonder if they actually use them on one another with intent. Probably. I just found one of my um, unrecovered birds. And we'll, uh, what we'll do is we'll been dead for a week at least so we'll just put him in a tree here wedge him in the tree we'll come back for his feathers later and there's more up in here yet anyway, we're carrying a little bit too much at the moment and we'll leave those feathers for another trip and get these two jokers out of here anyway this weather's horribly crappy water on the lens of the camera now. Never mind. I guess if you're going to get out and about and practice this kind of thing, you get out and about and practice it in all weathers. If you're a fair weather hunter, you stay home. You don't learn an awful lot if you're a fair weather hunter. Anyway, I've had my uh, second experience of having um, a peacock sit in the top of a tree and me not see him until he flushed. And by then it's too late. And I'm noticing these peacocks more and more are calling from cover rather than out in the open. I don't know whether or not that's a change in behaviour as we approach nesting or not. Or it might just be the terrible weather. Anyway, we'll call it quits and get the hell out of here. Put the camera back in this plastic bag and see if we can't get home dry. I won't be dry, but hopefully the camera will be.